from giant sharks and dinosaurs to phantom kangaroos and wallabies, here are 12 of the most mysterious Australian creatures. 12. The Yurua Beast One of the more mysterious and outright bizarre critters on the list is described as an amphibious creature with a bulldog face and it measured some 9 meters or 30 feet long. It was first reported in the late 19th century near the township of Yurua. Credible witnesses claimed to see this monster in a swamp it had infested. Further descriptions included the beast being extremely elusive, having yellowish-brown colouring and a tail that went as thick as a man's thigh. A search party was formed to hunt down the monster, but all they found were some huge tracks which evidently disappeared, according to sources that is. A possible explanation for the creature was offered by experts. The animal could have been a specimen of Pederpes, that was a tetrapod animal that was similar to an amphibian and would have gone extinct around 350 million years ago. But those animals were said to grow to only about a meter long or a little over three feet, and that's a far cry from witnesses' accounts. The story from 1890 was the only documented case we could find out about this animal. If you know anything about the Euro obese, be sure and let us know in the comments below. 11. Gippsland Phantom Cats now, Australia is home to a huge variety of wildlife, of course, but big cats like lions and tigers are not among the animals found there in the wild. And then again, maybe they could be. There are reportedly some big, mysterious feline creatures that haunt the Gippsland region of southeastern Victoria. Some theories as to their identity include them being some sort of unknown species of big cat. And there might be some weight to that theory. US soldiers stationed in Victoria during the 1940s were known to keep cougars as mascots. And when the Yanks returned home, they're said to have released those creatures into the wild where they reproduced. But no definitive proof of the Gippsland phantom cat has shown up, so far anyway. 10. Drop Bears now here are some critters that always engender some controversy. It's easiest to describe them as large, angry, and carnivorous versions of koalas. They live in the eucalyptus trees where the hunting strategy involves dropping down and crashing on the heads of the victims and knocking them out. After that, the beasts devour the prey using sharp teeth and razor-like claws. They're said to hunt at night and are unafraid of larger prey, which does seem to include humans. Now a lot of people say they really do exist, while others say the animals are nothing more than a story fabricated to scare off tourists. We're going to take no sides on this one though, and leave it to our subscribers to decide. Are drop bears fair dinkum critters, or are they not? You tell us. 9. The Yari now that is the critter's native name, it's also known as the Queensland Tiger, and is said to be around the size of a dog, with large front teeth, a long tail, and stripes. The earliest verified sightings of this animal date to the late 19th century, but the traditions of indigenous peoples mention the Yari prior to that. Speculation about the beast includes it being a large feral cat, or even a surviving specimen of Thylacolia. Now that was a predatory marsupial, also known as the marsupial lion, and it was the largest carnivorous mammal found in Oz. Now, they could weigh more than 300 pounds, but would have gone extinct around 46,000 years ago. However, sightings of this critter are still reported in Eastern Australia, so maybe a small population of them managed somehow to survive. 8. Devil Dragon Does a huge prehistoric lizard still roam the Australian rainforest? By some accounts, there is a beast out there that is blamed for the mysterious disappearances of various humans. The creatures are also said to leave strange imprints on the ground, although we could not find any pictures to corroborate that one. By some measures, this animal could possibly be a specimen of Megalania prisca. Now, weighing more than 4,000 pounds and measuring some 23 feet long, experts say it was the largest ground-dwelling lizard. While they might provide an explanation of what that beast might be, Megalania did go extinct around 50,000 years ago, unless some of those beasts managed to make it to the present day. 7. Burrinjaw So speaking of surviving members of extinct species, 
Maybe this one is a member of a dinosaur species unknown in the fossil record. A bipedal creature resembling a theropod, similar to T. rex, was reported by cattle ranchers that ravaged the livestock throughout the 1950s. Eyewitness accounts described it as going some 25 feet long and having small clawed hands. A similar reptilian creature appears in the accounts of Aborigines, except their type had feathers and was said to go after kangaroos mostly. The last reported sighting of the Burrinjaw happened in the mid-1980s at the Roper River in the Northern Territory. A monster covered with feathers and measuring more than 20 feet long was reported by witnesses there. Now, we could not find any subsequent sightings for this one. Have you ever seen it? 6. The Port Stephens Megalodon now, Port Stephens is a beautiful location in New South Wales and it's a popular tourist destination. Now, apparently, some of those tourists have included huge, vicious prehistoric sharks as well. In 1918, local fishermen reported that the crayfish pots were being stolen by a shark of unbelievable proportions. Their quotes. According to various accounts, this beast measured anywhere from 35 meters or 115 feet to 91 meters or about 300 feet long. Now, that last figure would have made the mystery critter more than three times as long as a blue whale. But Megalodon was estimated to have a length of around 60 feet or 18 meters. Now, at any rate, this animal was said to be stark white in color, and it created a boiling effect in the water above it as it swam by. A possible explanation is that the fishermen actually witnessed a whale shark. Now, there are some unconfirmed accounts of some of those beasts reaching some 60 feet long. 5. The Bunyip now, This beast is believed to live close to billabongs, creeks, or swamps. Descriptions of it vary according to regions, so a definitive description can be difficult to obtain. But most accounts do agree that the Bunyip has flippers, tusks, and a horse-like tail. It's said to make a loud, bellowing noise when approached, and comes out at night to feast on women, animals, and even sometimes kids. Sightings of it date back to the 19th century, and reports also surfaced during the 1930s. Some explanations for the Bunyip's identity include it being the Australasian bittern. That's a large, shy bird known for its distinctive booming call. And it is actually referred to the Bunyip bird. Or maybe Diprotodon may offer a clue. Those prehistoric animals were the largest known marsupials, and some Aboriginal tribes have identified bones of those prehistoric critters as belonging to Bunyips. 4. The Yowie Sightings of this creature date back to around 1795. They were described as indigenous apes that were covered in dark fur and stood around 12 feet high. The creatures do bear some resemblance to the North American Sasquatch. While both of the beasts are reportedly bipedal, the Yowie is said to run on all four limbs as well. The sightings seem to occur the most often in New South Wales and in Queensland's Gold Coasts. Sightings of the creature have continued into the 21st century, too. By some accounts, hunters have captured video of the animals using infrared cameras mounted on trees. Footprints, fur samples, and photos have also been said to have been collected. But in all that time, any definitive proof of the Yowie's existence has yet to be presented. Now, one theory does propose that the unaggressive creatures might be the remnants of some unidentified ape species thought to have gone extinct. 3. Mysterious Macropods Aside from the presence in zoos, it's hard to imagine kangaroos living in the wild outside of Oz. But there have been some reports of them or other macropods showing up in other countries. The subjects of such sightings are often called phantom kangaroos, since the species cannot often be definitively confirmed. Now, such animals have reportedly been spotted in countries including Japan. However, proof of macropods existing outside of Oz in the wild has been documented in France, and that's where a population of wallabies can be found, living outside of Paris. Colonies of wallabies also exist in the UK, including Scotland. And in New Zealand, a kangaroo was reported in 1831 that stood some 9 meters tall. That's almost 30 feet. So that is quite a king-sized kangaroo. Now today, wild wallabies can be found living on New Zealand's South Island. 
How did these critters get to where they are? Well, most of these marsupials arrived at the foreign homes after being deliberately introduced to the region or by escaping from local zoos and breeding in the wild. 2. Mysterious Macropods, American Style so we're giving a separate section to phantom ruse spotted in the States because there are some colorful stories about them, even if ruse themselves are not always involved. Starting in the 1930s, kangaroo-like beasts were reported to have killed dogs and ducks in Tennessee. However, no roo or similar creature was ever found. Now in the 1970s, sightings of wild kangaroos were reported across the Midwest, but that fervor was short-lived and ended after only about a month. In 2013, there were reports of, quote, small kangaroos in Westchester County, New York. Now this one turned out to be true, except the small kangaroos were actually wallabies, which had escaped. Turns out, several people in the area owned them. Tell you what, those wallabies, they really seem to get around, don't they? 1. Tasmanian Tiger One of the best-known extinct animals from Australia has to be thylacine, perhaps better known as the Tasmanian Tiger. Of course, it was not related to any felid. The common name was inspired by the dark, tiger-like striping on the backs. This was the largest carnivorous marsupial that existed in modern times, and it was found in Oz, Tasmania, and New Guinea. Exceeding six feet long and weighing about 70 pounds, it really more resembled a medium-sized canine. The last known specimen of thylacine is said to have died in 1936 at Tasmania's Hobart Zoo, and the species was declared officially extinct in 1982. However, sightings of this animal have persisted into the 21st century, with at least 3,800 sightings reported on mainland Australia in the past 80 years, most of them occurring in southern Victoria. So far, any documented evidence of the creature's continued existence has yet to be presented. However, do you think the Tasmanian tiger could still be prowling around out there? Let us know in the comments.